How's it going, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another NASCAR Diecast review provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $5 off shipping on your next purchase, and it's got to be $30 or more because otherwise, heck, that stuff ain't going to work, and heck, I just want you guys to save some money because, heck, Guinea Diecast is quite expensive, but today's going to be on a Diecast that I think I cannot pretty much time this review any more better uh, since we are going to be racing at this race, and exactly one year ago from today, um, if I I actually know my calendar statistics right uh this is going to be on a pretty historic die cast that happened last year that we finally got released and i did saw uh this car actually uh, at the uh the, the die cast i'm showing you guys right here they had this at atlanta but i finally got it for you guys it is on bubble Wallace's 2021 mcdonald's um talladega first ever cup win Toyota camry for 2311 racing also the first ever win for the newly founded 2311 racing for michael jordan and uh denny hamlin let me tell you what man this was such a big win i mean say what you want that you know this was i guess you could say you know bob wallace you know uh, uh, uh wasn't really considered a race win because he won it under rain but you know what man i mean the race was halfway over and the rain was coming and bob wallace was out front and we'll get some more of that guy guys in a second but as you guys can see that this car does have his feature on it which i know is not going to be too happy with people um but we'll get some more of that in a second guys as um yeah it's a 2021 car so i can't really show you guys too much about the box but let's get on to the diecast reviewing the official unboxing of bob wallace's first ever cup win and alrighty guys we got this diecast out of this box and man let me tell you what this is definitely a diecast i think a lot of people are going to have in their collections whether you like the guy or not um this is in his a, a a pretty big historic diecast guys um this is you know the second time you know an african-american driver won in nascar and you know this was above wallace's first ever win in the cup series so it was pretty huge because and also the first win for you know the newly founded well it's already been two years now since they were founded um coming up to that range soon um the 2311 racing uh group of danny hamlin and michael jordan and let me tell you what man this was such a big win because not only that because the alabama Alabama native himself from Mobile, Alabama, Bubba Wallace got it done. And let me tell you what, that just felt so refreshing, especially after, you know, literally we're talking about, you know, Bubba Wallace and his history with Talladega guys. I mean, we all heard the story about what happened to him at Talladega, you know, in 2020 with the whole new situation. And let me tell you what. There's no better way to just go ahead and just shut all the you know, criticism, shut down all the criticism that happened when he he this was a statement win. Let's just say that, you know, no politics aside. This diecast is just all about diecast. And if there's any politics whatsoever, that shit's gave me rude because we're just here to talk about a diecast, guys. Um, but this was just this, it just it just felt like it was just great timing. And you know what, man, I. I, I, Bubba Wallace, I may not be, you know, I, he's not in my top five of drivers, but I definitely feel for the guy. And let me tell you what, he went through a lot of repercussions and, you know, a lot of just, um, different types of adversity just to, you know, get into where he is in the cup series. And, um, you know, the, the guy definitely has that drive. Let's just say that. And of course, you know, he was able to get that impressive second cup win at Kansas, which that definitely even made a more bigger statement. I don't want to hear any more criticism about Bob Walls because, you know, if you want to talk about an earned win, I guess you could say that was an earned win. But, dude, this was just he was just waiting. We were just, we, we all knew eventually Bob Wallace was going to win a super speed race. It just happened. They had the speed. That's where mostly 2311 was mostly good at last year. Um, and then, you know, they were able to, I mean, even this year guys for the Daytona by funder guys, he had a shot. He had a shot and we'll get to more about his, uh, if you guys want some more Bubba Wallace reviews, I will be reviewing his 2022 McDonald's cars. So, um, anybody who's a big Bubba fan, you are going to be in quite a treat because we have more diecast to review for him. Um, I'll also check out my Dr. Pepper and Wheaties reviews. But get on to this diecast, guys. This is a race win after all. So, of course, it is going to have some nice race marks to it. As I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys uh, some nice little closer uh, details right here. But you got the nice big M, not for Mac Daddy, but that's for McDonald's. But we see all the nice little raindrops and dirt marks right there. Bubble walls. And you see this is a 2021 car, not a next-gen car, but still is cool. Uh, we do got a Toyota logo that is a little shifted. But, hey, it is what it is, though. But look at that race detail that we got right there. That's one thing I, I know we criticize a lot by Lionel, but just my God, you got to admit those race win diecasts look amazing, especially putting this amount of detail on a 164 scale diecast 
pretty darn nice. But down right here, if you guys can see what this paint scheme is, guys, um, basically the whole front end of this car is basically like that nice, you know, uh, it's a fry packet basically, which is really cool. I think McDonald's has done a good job, you know, getting creative with their paint schemes. And you see the side skirt detail right there. It's got, you know, those nice rivets right there, kind of like what we have with these spoilers of the next gen car. But we got the a really good placement of the logos and how um, we got a hamburger bun right here. I think that's pretty cool. I guess the white's supposed to be like, a, it's a good background, but I guess you get kind of say, I don't know, like those white McDonald's cubs that we used to have. But we got more of the fry packet right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, this car definitely is making me hungry for some McDonald's. Let's just say that, guys. Um, Bubba Wallace's name is a little shifted up right there. And we do got some wonky decal placement where the white, where, where the red is showing. That's supposed to be covered up in white. So, uh, my God, that, that, that C, uh, wow, that window does not look good at all. My Lord. Uh, <laughs> good Lordy. Someone needs a better paint job. Let me just tell you what. And we got a nice little burger right there. Oh, that's a Big Mac. Look, look at that little Big Mac. Isn't that cool? Well, it is an oxymoron, a little Big Mac. <laughs> but um, I love how, you know, the, 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 um, the paint scheme is just laid out because it really shows well with the sponsorship, guys. I mean, uh, where the white background is, you can clearly see the 23 is visible. The McDonald's logo is more visible. Um, I think this is definitely a much better upgrade. I mean, um, than you know the pre the pre the previous predecessor that we had of the McDonald's scheme, which you know he changed his paint scheme mid season, guys. We'll get on to his original McDonald's car in a second, but we see more sponsors right there, and it has little sesame seeds too, so that's pretty cool. Coming on the back, um, I didn't even notice as well. We do got some fuel residue as well, so that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like what happened with some of the race win diecasts that we've had in the past. I'm looking at you, Ryan Blaney, dual win from 2018. But we got more Mickey D's right there, the good old McDonald's logo. 23 um, more sesame seeds pretty darn nice we got my m rewards which i gotta admit and oh wow it's just nice little uh, easter eggs i gotta that are that are in this uh die cast but look at that even the uh, the bun is even extended um covering up some of the um the deck lid as well and then coming out of this right here, sponsor-wise, pretty much exactly the same, but we do got some nice scuffs and some marks right here, because, um, you know, it's a Talladega race, so you know there's going to be some crazy crashes and shit like that, but um, I like how even the side skirts are colored in that, you know, hamburger bun uh, color. Um, it looks really cool. I really think that this is a paint, and we got the little roof hatch right there. I mean, um, that's, you know, that's what we usually have with these, uh, with those NASCARs. But now let's go into the side-by-side -side comparison of the original McDonald's car, which as you guys can see, we do got ourselves a big quality issue with the, uh, you know, the headlight right there. Lionel cannot get those headlights right. But I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I mean, th there's definitely a lot less white on this car compared to, you know, um, um, the, the Talladega race win, but just, I don't know. I mean, I just think, I don't know, I think they did a better job cleaning up this paint scheme, guys. I think they took all the criticism that happened with uh, the McDonald's car from last year, and they're like, you know what, we can do a better job cleaning this up. Um, don't get me wrong, I did praise this McDonald's car, and I was like, okay, this looks really cool. It looks like, it, it, the, the McDonald's scheme, I think, have got better every year. I think the 2022 scheme is also, I mean, well, you'll probably wait until my review thoughts about that, but I can say it's definitely, uh, it definitely is a car that definitely makes me want to go and get some McDonald's in. I used to not really eat that much McDonald's, but I've been kind of, uh, it, it's been kind of my guilty pleasure now. I mean, once in a while, I'll be like, oh, I want a, um, not really a Big Mac, but like a fry or something like that. Well, fries. I mean, who wants to go to McDonald's and just get one fry? Yeah, not this dipshit. <laughs> uh, lordy. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I just think that this car is just something you're going to need in your collection. I mean, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention as well, this car is going to be mounted on a base. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, why is this car mounted on a base? Well, I've said it before, but anybody who's new to this review, apparently the sponsor McDonald's, I guess, uh, stated that they don't want their diecast to be choking hazards. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I understand this diecast makes you want to go and, you know, eat McDonald's, but I'm not telling like, oh, wow, this diecast looks delicious. I'm just going to go, oh, no, just kidding. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. I mean, I know it's a sponsor request. It is annoying, but you know what, man? Um, <laughs> It's pretty crazy. We now live in a world where McDonald's diecasts are now mounts not a base because, you know, <laughs> because of stupid shit like that. Uh, you could probably blame the Zoomers or the TikTok kids for that, but hey, you know, I don't want to start any crazy shit going on in the comments section, but um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about this diecast, guys. Um, really fantastic paint scheme, a much better upgrade compared to this one right here. I mean, like I said, it just looks so much better. I mean, I don't, I, they, 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 if you're telling me that looks like fries, then you probably need to go to therapy. 
this looks a lot better so good job on them and more importantly good job on Bubba Wallace um, I got a feeling that next year he is going to be on a hot streak man we're just seeing the start of what Bubba Wallace can do and um, we'll see how things will happen right there guys but if you guys are a fan of Wendell Scott Bubba Wallace definitely is a guy I think I would recommend you know checking out um, or a fan in general guys this is definitely a die cast to recommend getting but this is going to wrap up the die cast view of Bubba Wallace's 2021 McDonald's Talladega first cup win uh, for the NASCAR Cup Series um, at Talladega for 2311 Racing in the Toyota Camry. Keep on subscribing this mid OBB. See you guys next time on another Diecast review. And thank you guys so much for watching and stay humble, y'all.